Josefina Montoya loves the rhythm of life on her family's rancho in New Mexico. In spring, there are the sounds of birds chirping, chickens clucking, and workers laughing. Snowmelt rushes from the mountains to help the crops grow throughout the summer. Sheep provide wool to keep Josefina's family warm all fall and winter. And during the holidays, laughter, song, and cheerful greetings ring out among gatherings of family and friends. In the beautiful foothills of Santa Fe, heaven and earth seem to be in tune. Ever since their beloved mama died, Josefina and her three sisters have tried hard to remember her face, her voice, and her lessons about everything, from laundry to cooking. The sisters find great comfort in following mama's traditions, but they miss mama's loving guidance. Papa misses mama too, Together, he and Josefina faithfully care for Mama's flowers, remembering how Mama loved beauty. New Mexicans everywhere also struggle with change. For 200 years, they have greeted the sun from their adobe homes, cooking, weaving, farming, and practicing their faith. Then in 1821, Mexico won independence from Spain. For the first time, it became legal for the Americanos to bring wagon trains of goods and new ideas west to New Mexico on the Santa Fe Trail. Families like the Montoyas are not always comfortable with the foreigners. Josefina and her sisters want to hold on to the traditions that Mama loved. They're grateful when Mama's sister, Tia Dolores, comes to stay with them at the rancho to teach them and to help them as Mama used to do. Josefina feels hopeful that her family will again be happy and harmonious. But the crack of lightning and the thunder of a terrible storm bring another change to rancho life. A flash flood drowns the Montoya's prize herd of sheep, an important source of income. The family will have to start over with a new herd. Tia Dolores boldly suggests that the girls help start a weaving business at the rancho. The girls are surprised Women didn't usually suggest business ideas. Tia Dolores also wants to teach the girls how to read and write. Josefina and her sisters wonder, would they be disloyal to Mama if they followed Tia Dolores' new ideas? Josefina finds the answer in an almost forgotten poem. She decides that learning to read and write will help preserve Mama's words and keep them alive. Preserving Mama's memories in words is the best way to remember her. And Josefina discovers that other new ideas, such as trading with the Americanos, might mean that traditions can change without being lost. <laughs> 